Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Karakadrak playthrough, where... Well, we're about to have a very fun battle. I'm not sure I'm going to win this one. It's 50-50. Um, obviously, we have other armies ready to move in to support, but... Well, no, it's not a cat in hells. I'm going to win this battle, if I'm honest. Um... But we can certainly do take out some important units, namely the Mammoths. As so we're at the point of game, while I'm using miners, they're, they're barely of any use anymore. Here they come. So first thing we want to do here is burn down those Mammoths. Utterly want them utterly, utterly dead if I can. Um, and then, yeah. Basically, we're ju just trying to do damage to help it for future units. They're going around to the side. Of course, they're going around to the goddamn side. Kill the mammoth! Miners. A bit too close actually, that was probably foolish of me, the, the skin was hitting me there. That mammoth's down, let's hit that one. Poor mammoth, collapsing on lots of dwarves. No, we're, we're, well, no, we're not doing well. We're, we're holding the line briefly. Let's break those trolls. They should break relatively quickly. Because trolls do that. Hit the skin wolves. I want those skin wolves dead if I can. Finish that mammoth off. Oh, here it goes. Here's the inevitable foot failure of the line. Ugh. It was the re-emergence of the Norskans which really kicked my butt on this playthrough. Um, until they reappeared, I was doing okay. I mean, I'm still doing great. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm by no means struggling. It's just painful to deal with. Yeah, we took out one of Mammoths, we mostly dealt with another. Egil there... I mean, they just have the numbers. Um, if my garrison was a bit bigger, I'd potentially be able to hold. Poor Grimly there. What a name! Grimly! <laughs> oh dear. Um... For fuck's sake. Uh, I, I, I can't be asked. We're going to lose. Um, I just need to get armies in position to deal with this. Um. Lord of Clan and the Empire will help when it gets there. Uh. See, Sal encampment could probably hold them. There we go. Don't want to waste too much money on that yet, just yet. We're going to pull. Master of Runecraft. Yes. Lord of Van I get so annoyed when it won't let you take things. I don't need to be doing this, so. Setting off for the wisdom of Valea. My anger burns bright. Literally, why? Stupid <sighs> bloody game. That is my current response. On my way. Let us be about this. All 
Right. Lord. You're gonna pull this way just to give them a little bit more defense, just in case. Level there up. Do I even have that grudge anymore? Yes. Failure. We'll have to keep doing it until we till we succeed. But there we go. So, oh, Nagarond, Nagarond are re-establishing themselves quite nicely. So they're going to be our next thing after we deal with deal with this chaos incursion um, once we reclaim the no Norska from the uprisings here. There are good Norskans and bad Norskans, obviously See, this is my worry, the Empire are just going to clean up everything because they are ridiculously powerful. Um, and this is where it gets silly and it's where I'm a bit annoyed because I never really got to fly with a proper endgame army for these, th these guys. Um, yeah. Uh, this is the thing. I'm not sure. I think a lot of this is there's the growth changes. And I think they unfortunately mean that you really struggle to, uh, you know, compared to the AI, which means the AI does much better than you because they're buffs. Um, I'm not entirely sure how it works, but that seems to be my... So far, you seem to lag behind, certainly late game. Or I seem to lag behind late game. It could be the way I play. I mean, at least the Warriors of Chaos are more powerful than the Empire, and let's hope that they smash into the Empire. I mean, I shouldn't hope that. No, I would actually quite like them to hammer into the Empire and reduce the Empire's strength and pull the Empire back. Obviously, I need to be strong enough to weather the tide that if that, I want that to happen, because, well, obviously I'm going to take hits. As I am here, but we're in a good place, and as I said, potentially buy stuff back if the Empire takes stuff. Hopefully they won't just destroy it, because they aren't known to do that sort of thing. Huzzah! Oh no. Move your butt. In we go. For and and ready. Uh, the real question is which way do I take this army now? Hmm. Buffs versus our current enemy. He can start making his way all the goddamn way home. I want to get some defences there, basically. Ice Pack Bay is not so important, because that's relatively sheltered. Okay! I may need to pull back, actually, with that army I'm building up. I may garrison there with something less and bring Cromson back with the new army, because, actually, we don't look to be, um, well... You can see the, uh, the the line being cut through Kislev there, and... Ah, oh, the Empire, that's going to be the Empire just destroying settlements rather than... God damn you, Franzi! That's a grudging. Unfortunately, it may be a grudging, but I can't do anything about it.
can't believe they're still alive. See, I'm worried about chaos crossing over there. Welcome, men of the Empire. Yep. All of these little empire segments can have my alliances as well, because that's potentially things I can pull against things when they go, they go wrong. And what can the Dawi do for you on this? <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> Why not? <clears throat> Come, Prague. You can hold against the hatred of chaos. Right, this one is what I'm fighting. Because we have a much, much better force here. We've got a bigger force with decent troops. Um, I've got a lot more ranged, so I should be able to focus fire down their large units. I've got anti proper anti-large as well. Right, I'm not leaving them that thin. I am reforming a bit, so they're going to be fighting on their own to an extent. Now these guys are anti-large. I, I never quite get that. Having ranged, which are anti-large in melee. Always see, strikes me as a little bit odd, but... Okay. Just gonna curve that unit slightly and that unit slightly. There we go. Try and keep an eye on them here. Oh, charge. This is what my slayers were born to do. <laughs> well, were born to do. They were born to be good dwarves, which they failed at, to be fair. These guys can keep shooting through gaps and holding the line. I'm going to pull these guys back a little bit, actually. Hit them. Square the formation a little bit more. But hit those slayers. Sorry, those, those slayers? Those. <laughs> Don't hit the slayers, please. Go for it! This is the sort of thing Slayers are really meant to be doing. Cutting off it at, it at the ankles. Right, clear that please. That's good. My Slayers can go straight for the trolls. Which again is a, 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 a traditional. Unit for them to fight. Who are 
Ranged, hit those marauders, just burn those ones out. Start circling around these guys, you can start hitting that. Coralists can start hitting in there. It's over. They are breaking charge. Most slayers can just keep chasing them now. <laughs> Let's get the spike gunners on these guys. <laughs> Beautiful. Hit that unit because it's one at most health. And there we go. Repelled, finally. This is the danger of doing as quick an advance as I did because I advanced far too quickly, which actually put me in a very tricky, risky position. But we've managed to pull back, so we can't complain too much. We can, but I'm not going to. <laughs> we held the line and battered their force, and that's what we need to be doing now. Um, so just weakening them and slowly taking them down, them down. While we've lost some things, you know, it's an inevitable... We're going to lose some stuff. Yeah. I'm I'm just gonna Bloody Empire. If you say so, Don't charge this way, because the Empire are probably gonna destroy and resettle all of that. Time for a reckoning. My anger burns bright. Hmm. Not exactly being subtle with this army. Oh, do I want a couple of frost drakes? Just, just to see what they're like, because they look properly fun. Magic damage. Runic frost. Oh. Give some weakness to fire. Oh, if you could have them and fire drakes. Armor piercing as well. They're difficult to use, admittedly, but... I know a lot of you like like want me to use spike gunners. I'm just not a huge fan of them. Power of girders. That's the one thing these guys could use, I don't think really have is a better ranged unit or a different ranged unit. But they don't have to be different with everything. There we go. Slowly, slowly getting there, guys. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, the Empire are being repelled there. Good. Good. I mean, no, poor Empire. Um, that is the thing, the Empire's... It's, it's not... Act, the Empire isn't actually that big. They have been reduced quite severely at the moment. I thought they were about to do that. So they're going to capture and settle places, and if they do that, I'm not going to worry too much. I can't believe they're sending stuff over there. Um, which is kind of gonna break the point of the per entire purpose of me uh, building this shiny army, you know, and because it's gonna mean I'm not gonna have many other places to go at the end of all this, which is a bit annoying, but we'll cope. We'll have to cope because <laughs> there's no way in hell I can take on the empire. Maybe build up and folk take down the dwarves, but. They'll be part of the Alliance of the Great and the Good at that point, which, yeah. Oh, bugger. Yeah, we need to turn around. And that's the other thing which Chaos will be doing, and that's probably what's hitting Nagarond quite hard as well. Gee, so actually, oh, God. Uh, help it's at risk.
If that help, it's in in danger there. So yeah, I need to bring Cromson back at fast, uh, rejig his army. I'm still going to leave a small force there, but with these shiny, shiny new units. Cromson has lightning strike as well, which is good. Really? I probably shouldn't have autoed it, but it's a garrison force. If I hit with a second force, I'll be upset, but... There we go. <laughs> Why would I care about a negative? Oh, God. So that's hell of an army now. Um, no. Ah, do. Ah. You're gonna go via here. I need to protect Erengrad at all goddamn costs. One rug. Messed up. I completely derped and forgot the chaos could come round that way. I don't know why. I assumed they'd come the other way. No, I, I thought chaos would come around the other way, and yeah. Oh, but the Empire are having their butts kicked over there. It's because they're coming in pell-mell, and yeah, because they're coming in pell-mell. Yeah, Malakiv is kicking their butt. Unfortunately, it is an AI on hard, so... There's only so much defending they can do. Oh, thank you, Thranzi. Thank you, Thranzi. Oh, now he's turning around. Now he's realised the goddamn threat in the north. He is turning around. <clears throat> With everything, to be fair. I may have to turn around myself there. But no, if he takes blunts that for me, that would be fantastic. Especially as I don't have walls in Erengrad, which might have been a, pr been a mistake. Because I thought it was better defended. And I, to be fair... I did say I was always going to maintain a decent sized army there. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, the dwarves are a little powerful, guys. Aye, let's hear what you have to say. Yeah, I'll take your money. I don't even know where you are. Right. What? No, Scott. Okay, you guys are just going to have to pull back. Uh, Cromson, I hope you're feeling brave. 
I'm saving because I might not do as well, but I'm fighting this. I should, should win this fairly, fairly handily. We've got a decent force. We've got one unit of, uh, <laughs> we've still got a unit of dwarf warriors in here. <laughs> um, these guys look, uh, if you look at them, they look so goddamn. Look at this line. The glowy axes of doom. Um, I need to be aggressive here. Uh, it's counting them as ranged because they've got a ranged ability. Forward! Oof! We're gonna take a lot of hits from those hell cannons as we move in. That's our prop. That's gonna be the big problem here. Marching through this frigid lake, we want to get engaged as early as possible, basically. And I want to take out the Ether Watcher straight, goddamn way. You know, I want to go for them first because if we can kill them, <laughs> form in there. Nope. There we go. My range can eviscerate that. Popping all of our buffs. Oh, a bit late with that one. Oh god, my quarrel is getting too far forward. Why are my quarrel so far forward? Oh god. Oh god. Okay, Quarrelers, now you can get onto that. Sorry, I have messed this up. Oh, my. I am a tool. Should have smegging autoed it. That one next. You guys just charge forwards. Take out the Ever Watcher. Now my range to back in. I can use them. I can't believe I let them do that. It was letting them get get stuck in the line. We're still taking heavy damage here, but we're winning. Hit the Ever Watcher. In fact, pull back a bit, please, now, before we do anything. Pull back a bit. Get yourself safe. I'm not worried at all about this now, but that unit may need pulling back. Uh, it's already pulling back itself because it's running away. Let's take out the Ever Watcher. Not armored, so these guys should shred it. Shred that big goddamn turkey. Ooh, 
I think he has physical resistance or something. Pooch on this. I masked while they were hitting. Uh, yeah, I, I a litany of things I did wrong there, guys. Um, oh my god, I might have even managed to lose some of these guys. Fall back, fall back, stay a goddamn live. Let my ranged deal with those trolls. Did I take a decisive victory and make it not? Good God, that was pathetic. I took a decisive victory and made it a Pyrrhic victory. God. So that, guys, is a purposeful demonstration on how to not fight with these units. No, I, I clustered into a... Basically, I clustered into a massed area while I had really good artillery shooting at me. It was potentially the most stupid thing you could possibly do. Hindsight is a bitch. Though we've won, we'll fall back into our settlement, we'll replenish, hopefully we won't get hit too quickly, and we've got a very solid army here. I love the fact that my long beards took more damage than my dwarf warriors. Summon me if you dare, for the wisdom of the layer. I think not. For the wisdom of the layer. Lord of Clan Morgan. Here's relatively safe. There it can get ripped through quite easily. But that is where we're going to leave it for now, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this playthrough and watching me fight battles badly. Um, other than that, as always, a uh, massive thank you to everybody who, who does support this channel in any way. And an extra special thank you to my channel members and my patrons, however. Um, but thank you to everybody for watching as well. Cheers, guys.